So this is your first ceviche. How is it? A little too much. We're going to have lunch at Dos Cubanos. And it's right here in Paramus, New Jersey. They're just open, and they've been open for about 11 weeks. Let's try this thing. And again, the only thing missing is Ricky Ricardo. Check this out. It's a nice location. This used to be Fuddruckers, so it's a very big, wide room. And there's a lot of sitting that can be done here. So, uh, let's try this empanada. Now this is a, now this empanada is a, a little bit different. I like it the the pastry, the crispness of it. There's a little spice in the meat, which is is okay. Yeah, spicy but meat, pico de gallo. A little bit spicy, meat, but there's a good flavor coming through. So I'd give this a an A, sort of. Good. <laughs> good. A minus, maybe. Yeah, it's a good thing. So uh, this is the uh, version of ceviche that they have delivered to us, and I I tell you, it looks really cool. Is it still alive? I don't know. It looks really cool. <laughs> And then I ordered the uh, empanadas filled with pico de gallo um, because that is the standard by which I'll be able to position them against all the other Cuban restaurants I've been to. Maduro, huh? Maduro, yes. You've never I've had a Maduro. I've never had a Maduro. Oh. I'm sort of interested in this. Yes. That's a plantain that's been fried. Does it melt in your mouth? Is it sweet? It is sweet. It's not a banana. I'm trying to, I'm trying to discover the flavor of it. That's a tough call. It, and it's not, it's not a potato. No, it's a plantain. It's, very, it's like a banana. It's a more, more of a fruity type of thing, but not a banana. It's a very mild uh, taste, which is interesting. Um, not chewy, but you know. Not firm, not rubbery. It's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting uh, flavor. Vegetable. Yeah, good. Really. We are in Dos Cubanos in <laughs> Paramus. I'm trying the ceviche, so I got myself a little shrimp. <laughs> now that's crisp. See, now, now it's a little bit different with the, the lime juice added a little bit, of, it cut the garlic. So, tastes good. <laughs> Not bad. I've had ceviche in Mexico. I've had it all over the place. It's not bad. I'm gonna try these deep fried empanadas. They look good on the outside. They got pico de gallo on the inside. Very crisp. Nice flavor. I like these. <laughs> Are they a little too chewy? No, no. they're not. They're very crisp. Very crisp, very good. And um, these could be my favorite empanadas. They are very, very right. good. <laughs> so uh, we'll wait for the main course, too. Yeah. Let's see how that sound. It looks nice. It's, it looks like it's got a nice coating on it. Yeah. Flavorful. The, 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 the glazing adds the flavor and texture correctly. An interesting presentation. Never had salmon on a bed, a bed of uh, what kind of romaine is this? No, it's not romaine. It looks like watercress. Uh, watercress. Looks like my lawn yeah. when I had one. <laughs> I'm going to try one of these wonderful camarones in the sauce. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> That's good. Very tasty. And it looks like they gave me about nine shrimps, so that's a good deal for like 14 bucks. <laughs> and it is very tasty, but the real, the real way we measure this Cuban restaurant is the Maduros. Oh yeah. Oh. It, it, it is. These are lightly sautéed in butter. I can taste it. Very tasty. <laughs> Estawi, okay. you're our waitress. Yes, I am. And you seem to know your way around the menu. So tell us a little bit about what to order when we come down here. Um, it all depends what you guys in the mood for. So if you want to go with 
the meat, we got the churrasco, we were serving with the chimichurri sauce, very good. What and about the pollo? Pollo, pollo and salsa, we got a pollo and salsa with the um, mango sauce, which is delicious. And the camarones they just had were very good. You just good. had those, right? Huh? Yeah. They're pretty good, right? They were good. And you know what really... Enchilados. Yes. And you know what really set them apart? The maduros. The maduros? Yeah. You love them, right? Now you tell me, are they, are they the best in the area? Of course. <laughs> Do they have you go in the kitchen and make them? <laughs> nah, just sometimes. And they're pretty slow. That's cool. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a good, I was this this the plant, Maduro? The Maduro is yeah. a real is a real surprise to me. I really like that. Oh, they are they're my favorites. It, it, because it's not a sweet potato, it's not a regular potato. It's something in between, I don't know what. It's like, a fruit. It's like a fruit, yeah. but because it's crispy on the outside and the texture is, and there's a there's a very nice subtle flavor to it. And salmon was seems to be fresh and on a bed of um, greens, bed of greens um, appear to be watercress. The whole thing is a very pleasant lunch. So uh, on a scale of one to ten, where would you well, put? I, I, I bring this a new and nine, you know. Good I, I, I think that I think it's certainly it's worth the money, you know. A fifteen dollar lunch, which is a little bit, it's better than a sandwich, and but you have a whole nice little meal here. So we just had a really nice lunch at Dos Cubanos. I think one day we'll come back here and do a dinner. I would give it a, at least an eight. Um, the ceviche was very different. I've never had shells in my ceviche before, so uh, that was different. The uh, empanadas were wonderful. They were really wonderful. The maduros, very, very good. My shrimp were very, very good, too. In fact, I really can't complain, um, but it's nice, and, and I look forward to having the churrasco when I come here for dinner.